She comes in just treated as a normal... With man. just hours until Iowa votes, for Adam Van Dahl, it's still a close call. Honestly, I, I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he has an almost encyclopedic knowledge of the candidates and their stances. Just ask him about Rick Santorum. My biggest problem with his, him is his political endorsements. Um, I also have caught wind of some of his right to work um, stances. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. But as the candidates span the state to make their closing arguments, Van Dahl, a husband, father, and computer store owner, has strong views, but he's undecided on who should represent them. He's flirted with supporting Newt Gingrich and Ron Paul, but in recent weeks, he's leaned towards Santorum and Michelle Bachman. Just working our way up the ladder. If I asked you right now, if you had a poll lever, could you tell me? Ah, uh, jeez. Um... It would. I'd probably pull it from Michelle Bachman right now. But it's a decision that changes hour by hour. Minute by minute, really. Even over the course of our interview. Now, I, I, after thinking about it a little bit more, maybe, maybe I might go Rick Santorum. Uh, you know. Depending upon how long we talk politics tonight, I might just wind up saying Ron Paul at the end of it. I don't know. There's one name he is, won't uh, say. I, just, I will not and cannot support Mitt Romney. That's one thing he's been certain of since we first spoke to him at his computer store last month. As a devout Christian, Van Dahl says he's put off by Romney's past positions on abortion and gay rights when he was governor of Massachusetts, positions he has since changed. So he's killing babies and he supports gay marriage. Adam Van Dahl has seen the candidates up close. He's met Michelle Bachman, but in the end, he says he probably won't decide until he casts his vote. With his daughter's future at stake, Van Dahl says, it's a decision he can't afford to rush. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Newton, Iowa.